Okay, I'm in Lightroom and I have a macro shot here. Now I'll hit the I key on my keyboard for information. Hit it one more time and there's my camera settings. As you can see, I shot this at f16, which normally would give you a great deal of depth of field, but with macro photography, depth of field is severely reduced. So even at f16, as you can see, I couldn't get all three objects in focus. So that's where focus stacking comes in handy. So I shot three separate photos. One shot focused midway, one shot focused on the background object, and one shot focused on the foreground object. Now to merge these images, shift click so all three are selected, and then either right click or control click to bring up the context menu. Go to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And once these are loaded into a stack, click on the Layers palette. If you look at these layers separately, you'll see that the field of view changes. Even though the camera was on the tripod, with macro lenses, when you change focus, that will often change the field of view. So first thing to do is align the images. Shift click so all three layers are selected. Then go to Edit. Auto Align Layers. Leave Auto selected and these boxes unchecked. Hit OK. Now you can see our field of view is properly aligned. So keep those three layers selected and go back to the Edit menu and select Auto Blend Layers. Make sure Stack Images is selected and Seamless Tones and Colors should be checked. Hit OK. And there you have it. All three images now in focus. Here's before focus stacking, after. If you're not using Lightroom, here's how to open and load images into a stack in Photoshop in one step. In Photoshop, go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Select your images and check Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. Hit OK. So in this case, the images will be aligned as they're opened and loaded into the stack. So we can go directly to the next step. Click on the Layers palette. Shift-click to select all three layers. Go to Edit, Auto Blend Layers. And make sure Stack Images and Seamless Tones and Color are both checked. And there you have it.